Hello everybody, and welcome to Insider's Guide. For those of you who are new, in this series, I give you information I've picked up through skiing resorts in Colorado, and apparently now Utah as well. You'll learn how to avoid crowds, some of the best terrain, and some other tips. Welcome to An Insider's Guide to Ski Resorts, today's edition, Copper Mountain. Copper Mountain has three villages. Going from left to right on this trail map, they are east, center, and west. Today, we will be focusing on the right side of this map, that being west and center. In addition to the three villages, way over here on the left are the free parking lots, Alpine and Far East. From Alpine, it is a seven minute walk to Super B. From either lot, you can also take the free shuttle that should get you to any village. There are numerous small paid lots scattered throughout the villages. Look on the website for more information about that. All the way across the map from the parking lots is the West Village here. This is the beginner portal to Copper Mountain. This is also where Ski School meets. Lower roundabout, the green off of the Kokomo detachable quad, is the easiest big mountain green at Copper. There's a small beginner area between East and Center villages that is a traditional bunny hill. This run is your longer, more normal run. Off of Kokomo here, you can either ski back for another lap or access to Woodward, or you can ski over to the Lumberjack chairlift, here. Some people really like this lift. Me, I'd rather not waste my time on the slowest chairlift known to man. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but Lumberjack is a very slow chairlift. If you're patient enough to deal with lapping such a slow lift, you should absolutely do it. The runs under Lumberjack are about as near to empty as you can get, therefore the terrain served by the Lumberjack and Kokomo chairlifts is one of the best spots for beginner skiers to lap. The other lift coming out of the West Village is the Woodward Express. This lift was also called Union Creek and High Point in the past. This is the lift you will use if you are a big terrain park junkie. All of the big terrain parks at Copper, aside from the Super Pipe, are right underneath this lift. This lift can also be used to lap beginner terrain. Runs such as Easy Feelin' and Scooter are a touch more difficult than the other greens in West Village, but they are overall not bad at all. If you're just learning to ski, you can start at Kokomo and Lumberjack, and when you feel confident, you can progress to Woodward. Kokomo, Lumberjack, and Woodward pretty much never get busy, so you won't really have to worry about that. Woodward has two lines, one on the Kokomo side, and one on the other. The line on the Kokomo side, here, gets way longer than the line on this side. If you're coming down to Woodward from any of the runs under it, ski across Woodwind's Traverse and down Snowdeal. You're going to get on way quicker than you would have from the other side. The uppermost part of the West Village is this Timberline Express Quad. This terrain is made up of a lot of groomed blues and a few mogul blues. Because of the nice terrain, this area is extremely popular and gets extremely busy. Timberline Express can get a little bit overwhelmed at points. It is nice to lap it in the afternoon. A lot of people start here in the morning, so it can get really busy from 10 to 1. If that is the case, make your way over to Center Village and ride American Eagle up to Accelerator. Off of the Accelerator here, you have both Ptarmigan and Copperopolis, which are nice short groomed blues. This area will be less busy than Timberline. Off of Accelerator, you can also access the nice long groomers of East Village. CDL's Trail 20, Brennan's Grin, and Mine Dump are short mogul blacks, perfect for a warm-up lap before you hit the backside or the bowls. Down below Accelerator's pod are some other nice gro blue groomers. These runs, from Bouncer to Bittersweet, are not bad. However, there are two problems with this pod. The first is that due to the super pipe, all of these runs flow into one little chute-like slope at the bottom. This area at the bottom here gets extremely busy and icy. It's not a long section though, so some people can deal with it just fine. The other is that these runs are served by American Eagle. American Eagle is a really nice lift, however, it can get busy. Both of the Center Village lifts, those being American Eagle and American Flyer, tend to be some of the most busy lifts on the mountain. I would typically suggest getting on the mountain and staying on the mountain instead of coming back to a base. Accelerator is a great place for this, along with the Bulls and Union Peak. American Flyer serves the longer and more difficult greens at Copper. Copper Tone is a nice run in the bottom of the valley between the Eagle and the Flyer here. It does have some runs drop down into it, but it's not too bad. 
high point goes along the ridge line and splits to either go back to center or over to west right here. Eyedropper and Liberty, these two blues, are usually mogul blues. American Flyer is an alternative lift to lap the parks over by Woodward. However, I would highly recommend Woodward to lap those because it is much less busy. Like I said earlier, the Flyer, along with the Eagle, gets busy. If you want some higher level greens, I would not lap Flyer. I would lap Woodward or Rendezvous, which I'll talk about in Part B. This easy road is technically a trail. It's extremely flat and you have to push the whole way. However, it does have one good purpose. It's great for if the flyer is more busy than the eagle, which it typically is. If American flyer has an egregiously longer line than the American eagle, go up the eagle and then across easy road. From there, you can access the West Village or the Timberline Express, which will get you to pretty much the same place as American flyer. That's about all for this video. Go watch part B about the rest of copper linked in the description. Please leave any questions down below. All my love, I'm out.